health nuts welcome back to my channel my name is Nicole Gonsalves and today we're talking about one of my favorite things in the world and that is avocados more specifically avocado toast because who doesn't love avocado toast you can eat it for any meal of the day and today I'm gonna to be sharing 10 fun and unique and of course delicious ways that you can enjoy your avocado toast I'm really excited because Silver Hills Bakery is sponsoring and collaborating with me on today's video they make amazing sprouted bread Matt and I have been eating and loving their breads for years now you would have seen them in like grocery hauls what I eat in a day videos sprouted bread is amazing because it's easier to digest it gives you energy it fuels you through the day and I just love it and I love the variety that they have they have lots of like nutty and seedy breads and they're just delicious so I'm gonna be using them as my base for all of the avocado toast that I'm sharing in today's video so they have lots of different options that you can play around with also don't forget to subscribe hit that red subscribe button down below I post on this channel every single week new recipes lifestyle and vlog videos so lots of things that you do not want to miss so make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below it's free you get new videos every week so without further ado let's get into the video and I'm gonna show you guys 10 ways to make your avocado toast first up we have the sweet and savory for my base I'm using Silver Hills max flax spreaded bread I love this one because it has both whole and ground flax in it so lots of fiber once your bread is toasted you're gonna mash about half of a ripe avocado on top add some fresh orange slices that have been peeled and then this may seem like a weird combination but just trust me on it you're gonna drizzle on some balsamic glaze now I'm gonna have the full directions on how to just make your own at home on the blog so make sure to check that out it's really easy so you don't have to go buy extra ingredients and then for a fun fresh addition I'm adding on some freshly sliced basil which just adds a really fun kick of flavor to this toast and this whole combination together is delicious next we have the fresh for this one, I'm gonna start off by making a little arugula salad. In a large bowl, place a few handfuls of some fresh arugula, drizzle olive oil and a squeeze of lemon juice, a pinch of sea salt and black pepper, and then just lightly toss with some clean hands and then you're ready to toast your bread, add on your mashed avocado, then take a nice handful of that arugula salad place it over top and then I have some sliced apricots which are in season right now and are so delicious. You can of course use any fresh fruit and then I'm sprinkling on some lightly toasted pine nuts. This combination is just like the title says, it's so fresh and flavorful with that fruity kick. Next up we have the sushi. So for this one, I have my very ripe large avocado and how you know it's ripe at the grocery store and a good one to pick out is take that little button off at the top and you want it to be a nice bright green and that's how you know it's ready to go and take home. And I'm telling you, there's nothing better than opening an avocado and just, it's like the perfect ripeness. I'm gonna take one half and just slice it thinly lengthwise. And then just taking a large spoon, I'm gonna run it between the meat of the avocado and the skin. And then you have perfect avocado slices to top onto your toasted spreaded bread. So lay those down. I'm gonna also add some thinly sliced cucumber, smoked salmon. You can also swap it out with smoked sliced tofu toasted seaweed that I just kind of chopped up with some scissors, peeled carrot, a drizzle of tamari, a sprinkle of black sesame seeds, and you are ready to go. It's almost easier than making sushi because there's no rolling, but it's just as pretty. Next up, we have one of my favorites, the street corn style. For this one, I'm using Silver Hills Sprouted Big Reds Bread, which is packed with pumpkin seeds, quinoa, and chia seeds. Not to mention all their breads are made with organic non-GMO whole grains and are naturally sprouted. For this one, I've already mashed up my avocado in a bowl. I'm gonna add in some chopped up jalapeno, chopped up fresh cilantro, fresh lime juice, a pinch of sea salt and black pepper, and just mash that all together. It's kinda like you're making a really quick guacamole, but you're gonna put it on your toast. Toast up your bread and then go ahead and top it with that guacamole. Next up, I have some fresh corn that I just removed from the cob and just lightly toasted in some olive oil on a hot pan, just so you get some like nice charred bits. You can, of course, use corn that you barbecued, but we don't have a barbecue yet, so this was another option. Onto that, I'm adding some more fresh cilantro, and then I have some crumbled feta cheese. This is an avocado toast you could totally have for Taco Tuesday, and no one would be upset. All right, this is a fun one. This is what we're calling the Kylie Jenner toast. My sister told me about this combination and I'm actually in love with it, it's delicious. So on your toasted bread, you're gonna add on your mashed up avocado. 
Now here comes the fun part. You're gonna squeeze some fresh lemon juice, drizzle on some nice, good quality honey, and then last but not least, a sprinkle of sea salt. Now I'm telling you, this combination is both sweet and salty, and honestly, I'm a huge fan. I will definitely be making this on repeat. Next up, we have the margarita, which you guessed it, is kind of a take on margarita pizza. So we got our toasted spreaded bread, mashed avocado, lots of sliced up cherry tomatoes, a squeeze of fresh lemon juice, fresh basil, a sprinkle of sea salt and black pepper, and there you have it, a super fresh avocado toast version of a pizza. Next up, we have the mango salsa. Toast up your bread, mash on that avocado, and then I've gone ahead and already pre-made a super easy mango salsa. I'll have the recipe on the blog, and then I'm just gonna sprinkle it with a little bit of some chili flakes to add some heat, and there you go. It's super simple. You can, of course, just buy store-bought mango salsa, but making it fresh at home with ripe mango is so delicious, and I highly recommend it. Next up, we have another favorite of mine, the everything but the bagel. So for this one, I'm using Silver Hill Squirrely Bread, which is actually one of my favorites, and it's the first one I ever tried from this brand. It has both sesame and sunflower seeds, and I just love the combination. So once again, you're gonna toast your bread, mash on some ripe avocado, and then for some added protein, we're gonna do one soft boiled egg sliced in half. If you're looking for a plant-based option, you could sub this for some chickpeas or even some sliced tofu that you just kind of pan seared. And then for the main event, the seasoning, we're gonna add on some everything but the bagel seasoning. It's delicious, you can make your own or buy it, and it just brings this toast to life. I love it. Next up we have the Randy Radish. I've got my toasted up bread, mashed avocado, and yes, I used a lot of avocado for this video. Then I have some super thinly sliced radish that I quickly pickled just by sprinkling it with some sea salt and letting it sit for like about 10 minutes. Added on some sprouts with a squeeze of fresh lemon juice. Now for a little fun flair on top, I'm using za'atar, which is one of my favorite new spices from the Health Nut Cookbook. I'm obsessed with it, but I will have a substitution over on the blog if you can't find this one. Last but not least, we have the Mediterranean. Toast up your bread, and instead of mashed avocado, I'm tricking you guys this time, we're gonna spread on some beet hummus. Now, I have a recipe on the blog on how to make your own, or you could just buy store-bought. A lot of grocery stores have beet hummus now. This time, we're gonna slice our avocado, and then I have some pitted Kalamata olives that I just sliced in half. Crumble on some of that feta cheese that we used earlier, and sprinkle on some chopped up pistachios, and there you have it, your Mediterranean. So delicious, so colorful, and it hits all the right flavor notes. I love this one. There you have it, 10 fun and unique ways to enjoy your avocado toast. I just think it's so fun to play around with different toppings and combinations, and sometimes you never know. Like, you think of something in your head and you try it out and actually ends up being really delicious, and that's exactly what happened with today's video. So a huge thank you to Silver Hills Bakery for sponsoring this video. I would love to know which one, of your which one out of the 10 was your favorite leave me a comment down below. Also, if you're looking for more yummy spreaded bread recipes, I will have a link down below in the info box, as well as all the recipes in today's video down there for you as well. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait for you guys to try out these recipes. They're so good. I don't even know which one's my favorite, like maybe the beet toast one or the peach one or the apricot one, I mean, they're really, really good. So try them out, let me know what you think. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. I post here every single week. We got recipes, lifestyle and vlogs, uh, lots of things for you guys to check out. So subscribe, it's free, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.